basically got another order. They're wanting a chicken salad. It's another termite choking on the splinters. There's nothing like it when your jack in a box receipt is very clear and you can point that in to get the two points for your tacos. Dollar seventy two, baby. Right there. It's a dollar seventy two jack in a box. That's a two tacos. Back in the day, that was ninety nine cents. One time when my dad was getting them, they were probably like sixty cents for two of them. Probably forty cents for two of them. Probably just give them a quarter and they give you two of them. But now, dollar seventy two. You ever seen that movie Some Like It Hot with Jack Lemon? Marilyn Monroe, and the other guy. It's supposed to be the all-time funniest movie. I got 15 minutes, pick up this chicken salad. Yeah, Jack Lemmon, man, that guy. There's not a lot of actors like that. Mercedes right there, my mom used to have one that was very similar. I think it was a little more modern than that. It's got like a little Denver tag, old school Mercedes.
pizza. What's scary about Silence of the Lambs, which is the old time, I gotta, I gotta tell you about it in a minute, hang on, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Talking about Silence of the Lambs, Jonathan Demme won the most Oscars than any other movie ever in the history of cinema. Won more Oscars than anything. One thing, it's kind of a take on Psycho, it's Alfred Hitchcock, Jonathan Demme was definitely taking from Alfred Hitchcock for sure, because of the themes of the psychoticness and that's the aspect of the whole thing. These characters are psychotic. They're not really meant to be completely understood. They do have motives, but, you know, the motives are askewed and not normal, and it, so it's, it comes off as very eccentric. That's why Jonathan Demme was such a good director, especially with uh, Talking Heads, which is an eccentric band. He did uh, Stop Making Sense. But what's cool about Sons of the Lambs and why it's probably one of the best films ever made definitely for sure um, is because the psycho or the serial killer Buffalo Bill he the way we, we learn from the storytelling we learn from the camera from his life we, we learn about Buffalo Bill from the images and, and, and also Buffalo Bill's behavior but we really just actually see him he doesn't try to hide anything and we learned that this Buffalo Bill character who was in Vietnam and more than likely left his life behind uh, to become this serial killer, to try to become a woman, you know, literally like skin a woman and try to become one. That's why he got the nickname Buffalo Bill. And he wanted to have a woman suit, like a flesh suit. Which they use that term in Christianity. When Jesus Christ came to the planet and wore a flesh suit. You know, it's 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 gone many levels. There's even a theolo theological level of Sons of the Lambs. But he wanted to become a woman, so it was very kind of it was evil. You know, it was wrong. It was uh, an abomination. You know, it was a weird thing, and he was killing these these women. And the FBI was trying to you know get him and all this stuff. It's a big thing about the FBI. It's from the, the point of view of the FBI. Why well, Psycho is in the point of view, I would think, of maybe Norman Bates. Because Norman Bates looks through the peephole. And we see through the peephole, his own peephole, you know, in his hotel keeper. But the but in a way you could also say that Silence of the Lambs is also from the point of view of Buffalo Bill in certain aspects because we spy on him. So we kind of go back and forth from the FBI's point of view and Buffalo Bill's point of view. But the weird the the scariest and creepiest thing is it's just this normal house. So he leaves his house behind, takes over this old lady's house, and kind of just blends in to the furniture. And you see a shot of the dead old lady in the tub, either it's in the basement. And the idea was that he probably took her pension check, gave it to the bank, had her card. And if he ever needed a new card, he just have it mailed to him kind of thing. And kind of took on her, her identity in a way and coasted off, pretty much coasted off of her of the old lady that, that's dead and they're very similar to Psycho because in Psycho we see an old lady at the end dead in the tub and in Sons of the Lambs we see an, well in Psycho we see the old lady dead in the chair o overlooking the, the hotel is what I meant to say and in, in, in Sons of the Lambs we see the, the old lady dead in the, in the tub and he had been 
the whole time, the entire time he had been kind of living in, in her home. That's why they couldn't really find it. And it's spooky because it's a normal looking home. You know, it's not, it's not anything real dungeon looking other than the, the of course the basement, which is really spooky. You know, he took his time on that one, Jonathan Demme. You know, he didn't make a tremendously, a whole lot of films. I don't, I don't think he didn't make a, I have to look at the history of Jonathan Demme. But he did spend time on that one, I think. At least thinking about it. And I think, the, like I said one more, the, the creepiest thing about it is that the homes are just very normal. You know? The, the atmosphere of it is normal every day. You know? The, the most horrible thing, you know? And it won all the Oscars that year. Best Actress, Best Actor... Anthony Hopkins, Jodie Foster, Jonathan Demme, Best Director, Best Picture, uh, Best, I'm sure it won Best Adapted Screenplay. Anyway, I was just thinking that of that pizza drop, it kind of reminded me. Sometimes I, I, I look at a house, I'm like, this this is like a Jonathan Demme movie or something. That's what I'm thinking, like, you know, this is kind of creepy, I think. And also the fear, the homophobia, homophobia is what Jonathan Demme was was dealing with too. Ho- homophobic kind of aspect of things. It, it makes a lot of sense that Jonathan Demme worked with David Byrne. It makes a, a lot of sense that, that they would work together on uh, Stop Making Sense. Thanks. I'll start with that. Where's Waldo? 